Hello on full person, this is Anton, and in this video we're going to discuss a relatively recent discovery of yet another bizarre galaxy somewhere out there that currently does not make sense and potentially violates our previous assumptions about how galaxies form. And specifically, we're going to be discussing a discovery and a confirmation of a galaxy you see right here, although in this particular image it's kind of difficult to tell why it's unusual. But this galaxy, now referred to as Rebels 25, turns out to be a little bit unexpected for reasons we're going to be discussing in this video. But first, this is actually not coming from the James Webb Space Telescope. As a matter of fact, this really distant galaxy, at a redshift of 7.3, was actually discovered by the ALMA telescope, the networks of telescopes located in Chile. And so one of the surveys this telescope was used for is known as Rebels which stands for Reionization Era Bright Emission Line Survey, a survey whose purpose was to discover extremely distant galaxies and very active galaxies present in the reionization period, or essentially in the first billion years of the universe. And here, unlike James Webb, ALMA is actually really good at detecting something else about these galaxies. Because of its sensitivity, it can actually look at a galaxy extremely far away and even detect minute motion, discovering how these galaxies move and how they rotate. And that's because this telescope is ridiculously sensitive, and today possesses very high resolution. And while well, pretty much right away, it started to discover a lot of different galaxies, and the 25th galaxy stood out just a little bit. Here, this seemed to be a relatively active starburst galaxy, approximately a hundred times more active than the Milky Way galaxy, or basically producing 200 solar masses per year, and a galaxy that was a little bit bigger than everything else in the region. Here, this galaxy was about 8 billion solar masses, which for galaxies at this time was a little bit too massive, but compared to the Milky Way, it was still pretty small. The Milky Way galaxy is approximately 1 trillion solar masses, so this galaxy was at least 150 times less massive. But here, it wasn't the mass that surprised everyone, it was actually the way this galaxy was spinning. When the researchers took a look at the redshift and the blue shift here, they discovered something they really didn't expect. Here, they expected a massy early galaxy, with stars moving in all sorts of directions, and instead, the motion here appeared to be extremely orderly, as if it was actually a rotating disk. And so this relatively small, relatively active galaxy appeared to be a disk galaxy not so different from the Milky Way. Moreover, it wasn't just a disk galaxy, here it also seemed to show signs of some kind of an orderly structure, possibly even possessing spiral arms. And that of course did not make a lot of sense. And that's because based on modern formation theories, we don't really expect galaxies to assume a spiral-like and orderly shape until they get at least a few billion years old. And so for a galaxy to develop orderly formations, and to stop being so messy, it needs to evolve for at least a few hundred million years, possibly longer. But based on the redshift calculations, this was at a redshift of 7.3, or when the universe was only 700 million years old. And so by discovering a dynamically called this galaxy so early on, naturally researchers found themselves in a bit of a pickle. The pickle being that it's kind of difficult to explain this. Although here, a quick side note, no, this does not invalidate the Big Bang Theory, and it doesn't show us that the universe is much older than we currently believe. As a matter of fact, everything else in this galaxy seems to fit with expectations. This galaxy is 100 times smaller than the Milky Way, it's extremely active and produces a lot of stars, and is also producing a lot of extremely bright light. But here it's the shape and the rotation of the stars that doesn't really make sense. We expect this galaxy to be much more chaotic, and also be a lot more clumpy, but instead this galaxy is much more orderly, and from a distance seems to possess a relatively well-established disk, which just does not fit previous simulations and previous assumptions about galactic formation. As a matter of fact, previous assumptions established that for these structures to evolve, and to especially have a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy, with a rotating disk and very neat structures inside, these galaxies would have to evolve for at least 2 to 3 billion years. Which means that when it comes to the shape at least, something here definitely doesn't add up. As a matter of fact, this is currently defined as the most distant, strongly rotating disk galaxy observed to date. 
And at first, when this was discovered a few months back, researchers were not entirely certain if their data was accurate. And so now this galaxy was also observed using additional bands or additional frequencies in order to confirm initial discoveries. And here these observations definitively confirm that this galaxy is really far away, it also seems to contain a lot of gas, very likely from various supernova, and it's definitely young and growing fast. But once again, the shape and the rotation don't really make sense. On top of these, these new observations even confirm the development of much more complex features, such as some kind of a central elongated bar, and once again, potentially spiral arms. And so here, the morphology is really the biggest mystery. But unfortunately, most of the stars here, and even most of the star formation, seems to be obscured by huge amounts of gas around the galaxy. And so the only way we can actually see that it's spinning is by observing the gas in the galaxy, which seems to be rotating in a somewhat circular motion. However, there is maybe one explanation here that doesn't break any theories. Here, this could technically be a colliding galaxy, where two merging galaxies are essentially merging in a way that makes it look like a disk. And so because a lot of the stuff here is hidden by all of this gas, and because this is also super far away, technically it could actually just be two merging galaxies. As a matter of fact, from observations of certain types of elements, there are definitely hints of some kind of a previous merger that has either just happened or has happened recently. But because of the distances, it's going to be very difficult to tell exactly what's happening until future observations with additional telescopes. Despite of this though, this galaxy is still a little bit unusual because it seems to be just a little bit more massive and contains a little bit more gas than it should while still containing signs of complex morphology. And it's the fact that it could be a disk that's kind of difficult to explain. Although in one of the recent studies, the mass was discovered to be much lower than before. Either way, based on these observations and the conclusion from this paper, we can only assume that, well, these galaxies could potentially exist much earlier than we previously thought and potentially can evolve into somewhat complex shapes much earlier using mechanisms we still don't understand. And so basically, instead of taking billions of years, it might actually only take four to five hundred million years before the appearance of these complex shapes. But at least for now, this is just a preliminary conclusion based on these first observations from ALMA. Until future observations, including observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, we're probably not going to know exactly what we're looking at here, and if there's really some kind of a mystery, or this is just some kind of a misinterpretation based on, for example, colliding galaxies. Either way, at least for now, this is claimed to be the most distant Milky Way-like galaxy discovered so far, the galaxy Rebels 25. And so once we have some more details or something else is discovered, we'll come back and talk more about this in some of the future videos. Until then, check out previous videos on very similar topics and mostly about other unusual galaxies in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, Support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.